Major James Bowman was part of what you might call our extended family. He was shot dead in his uh, tent, sadly, by an Afghanistan soldier. I was approached by a soldier in Ghana and a couple of the guys who started all this and said, would I be interested in uh, getting involved? And of course, we were. So the James Bowman Award was created and I'm looking forward to presenting it this year to a man of equal stature. And these people are very special. Darren Swift, who is going to win the award. I can't believe that I'm actually going to meet such a man. Just reading about him and the things he's got involved with and what he wishes to do and to continue. This year, this is the man. I was um, in Belfast in a place called North Hour Street Mill. We were uh, ready to go out to work that night. A homemade coffee jar bomb was thrown down from a building next door um, and it landed uh, at my feet. I lost um, my left leg uh, through the knee, and my right leg above the knee, two fingers of my right hand. Uh, it was pretty grim to start with, certainly lying in hospital. Um, didn't really think much about what I was going to do with my life, just really about repairing um, and getting, getting better. A lot of my relatives worked at Pinewood and they said to me, uh, why don't you think about doing some extra work? I applied to a couple of agents and, and they took me on and within a couple of weeks I had a job. Scary monsters, blood and guts. If there's blood and guts on the screen, it's usually someone like me there. I'd signed up with another agent, she gave me a call and said, there's a job at the National Theatre called Travelling Light. So I came along and did the audition and that was it. I got the job and it's, and it's been fantastic, absolutely fantastic. When we first started, I was a, I was a lot more nervous and, uh, but now I've got into it and it's quite nice and very supportive as well. Everyone's been, been great with me. A couple of them taking me under their wing a little bit. So. I work with the ABF, the Armed Benevolent Fund, Blairsmo British Limited Sex Servicemen's Association and the Not Forgotten Association. Just getting up to different activities really, skiing, canoeing, canoeing's a great thing with injured service personnel. They've got a motivation so when we take them canoeing, um, there's quite a lot of competitiveness there. It's not just about the activity, it's about getting together as a gang and going out and completing a task with the skiing trip I've just been on. We gave every, everyone an opportunity to ski. Uh, with whatever ever disability they had. And they come back having achieved something. They want to thank you for that. Really, I suppose what we do is just open a door and say, look, you know, what you want is through that door. You go and take it. Um, I think that's what, really what we do. I'd like to say thank you to the Soldier Nong Through Life Trust. It's, it'd be nice to be there on the night and, uh, and I'll thank everyone personally, but uh, it's, um, yeah, a little bit humbling. And thank you very much for the award.